Howdy neighbors, sitting out here having my coffee in the cool morning before the heat picks up. There's cloud cover to the south and west, but towards the east not so much. I've been watching this mock, mockingbird, watching and listening to him. He's in that tree right now someplace. He spent the last maybe hour and a half between that tree and a couple others here. He flies between that one and, uh, let's see, that one out there. And he's just singing up a storm. The only other thing I hear is jets, jets going over up really high. Dragonflies flying around. I got the fly swatter out because they're still them stupid little flies that mess with you all the time. Well, we got some rain yesterday, all of, you know, a few minutes. But the fact that it cooled everything down immensely was way cool. Literally. Like 20 degrees cooler. Hope it does that again. It's supposed to. Problem is that by the time it does... Oh, there he goes. He's headed over to the other tree. went past it. Maybe he didn't like me filming him. <laughs> uh, where was it? Oh yeah, the, the uh, cool. It was, you know, let's see where I'm sitting. I have that, the outside thermometer sitting right here underneath the solar panels, so they're always in the shade. But it was showing 110 right here. Inside was 88. And we got it, with the air conditioning going, I got it down to 81. So, it's comfortable. And, uh, then about 2, the clouds, 2 to 2.30, the clouds finally blocked the sun. And it went down into the, uh, like down to 74, 75 inside and so it was way comfortable and then i was able to turn the generator and the air conditioner off for the rest of the evening got down to 60 something this morning very comfortable I uh, started emptying stuff out of the van yesterday in the morning, um, rearranging things, emptying the shelves, getting stuff out of the cupboards. I still have the uh, outside part of my mini split in the van, so I got to move that out of the way. It's 75 pounds. So. I really think hard and work carefully when I move that thing around. And then I'm going to grab the screw gun and start unscrewing stuff so I can reclaim the board that's there and the cabinets. And I'll probably, the way I've been looking at them, I'm going to take the cabinets. Oh, he's back in that tree. I'm going to reclaim the cabinets and use them underneath our new couch I want to build and I'm going to use the mattress that I slept in in the van for all those years it's a uh, 32 by 6 foot and I figure that'll be a good start for a couch base you know something that size build storage under it with the cabinets they won't uh, fill the whole space because they're upper cabinets. Uh, so there'll be storage behind the whole thing too. 
But I'll see what I come up with. It all depends on the materials I can put together. And where are you going? Yep. He's up in the tree. Oh, and there he goes again, back. <laughs> uh, having himself a good old time this morning. He comes by and he's out here every morning now. Has been for a week or two, at least. One thing about out here is watching the clouds. They get really, really thick over the mountains over there. The other side of those mountains is Flagstaff. And um, the, the big thunder clouds and stuff that form, they start, a chunk starts forming over those mountains and they get really, really thick and high. And then they seem to travel to the west here. And as you can see, there's already some pretty good size mountains over that way. We could see a lot of rain all the way around us, but all we got were some sprinkles, you know, enough that if you went out in it, you got damp, but then you come inside and two minutes later, you're dry. Asha says this is, we're in a vortex here. <laughs> Vicky and I just said, well, we thought it was us because it seems like every place we go, all the rain goes right around us. It's always sunny above us. Yeah, so let's see. I think we're getting closer to... Um, we're running out of clothes, so we're going to have to go do laundry and restock. So we're trying to get ourselves all psyched up to make the trip over to Flagstaff. Get laundry done and restock. I'm going to go by Harbor Freight and look at getting a small air compressor that hopefully will handle um, just being able to sandblast, well, media blast, I'm not using sand, all the shiny spots that I couldn't do with my pad sander. And uh, then I'm going to see, you know, work towards getting this thing painted. I've got new LEDs to put in all the lights, so that means taking the old one out, old ones out, rewiring them, and then uh, fitting the new ones on there, and hoping that the holes for them are, uh, <clears throat> that they'll fit okay. That's another project I got to get to working on. But you can, like I said, you can only work when it's not blazing hot. And for me, again, with my back the way it is, it's just what I, you know, you just have to work slowly. Climbing up and down ladders, etc. It gets pretty old pretty quick. There's one of them stupid flies. Get off my coffee you <clears throat> anyway I taped a piece of cardboard over the air conditioner so that it would be in the shade <laughs> looks like I gotta go restick the gorilla tape it gets warm and starts peeling off put a couple bungee cords on it so that it holds it down in the wind Seemed to do okay yesterday. There's a lot of birds uh, out here. Which is way nice to see and hear. Alright, well, that's my little update for today. <sighs> Very cool and calm, well... I don't know about calm, but light breeze, nice and cool right now. 
beautiful morning to be sitting outside having coffee. Chloe was out with me first thing this morning for about 45 minutes. I think she found a lizard, but she couldn't get to it. It was in the middle of some bush, and she tried jumping at it to get it to go, but it kept her busy for a while. I took her in, and Vicky made her breakfast, and she's really wanting to come back out again. <laughs> Our little hunter. Anyway, hope you all have a good day. Lay.